service it at, you drop something. <laughs> You know what that denotes? Adam gave us his authority. He gave us a disability. Wow. Satan has. Now Satan has dominion. You may say. Bring bring a chair, put it up. Now Satan is the prince of that. That's why these airways and things, the media and all that, hates God. Go ahead and see what you're doing. You see, Adam gave up his dominion when he ate that fruit. Gave it up. Jesus, God, Holy Spirit wasn't shocked. He said, since man didn't have sense enough to obey me. Don't worry about it. I got a plan. He said, let's look at these generations and see how they bumble and fumble along on their own. Let's see how they fumble on their own. One generation passed, two, three, four people fumbling, bumbling, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen, twenty, thirty, thirty-five, thirty-nine, forty, forty-two generations. Man has been going through hell. So God says, well, let's, you, think, you think man done suffered enough? You think he has? Yeah. All right, let's go redeem. Let's go redeem, man. Son. Let's go redeem. I want you to sneak up on him. See, he in hell right now. He got all his little demons all around him. They praise and Satan. They can on him. He just reeking out. So I want you to sneak around that way. And, uh, and I'm going to let them crucify you, son. It's going to be rough. But the, the, the uh, persecution and the suffering you go through is not going to be compared to the glory that will be revealed in you, son. So, so I need you to do that. Did you do that for me? Okay, all right. Go on around there. So Jesus walked on earth 30-something years. All the way to the back, sneak up on him. They, he healed people. He raised the dead. He opened the blinded eyes. Made the lame to walk. The dumb to talk. The deaf to hear. Turned water into wine. Calm the sea. That's why he was on earth. Before he was on earth, he parted the Red Sea. Shut the lines. He did all kinds of great things before he came. So, he said, I'm going to send my son. They killed him. They crucified him. His own people crucified him, hung him on a cross, put stakes, not little nails like they tell y'all in the nursery, stakes through his wrist. Cross his feet, put stakes through his feet, hung him on the cross. He told him, in three days, I'll rise again. No man take my life. I'll lay it down for you. They killed him. Took him off the cross. Took him, put him in a tomb. They killed the Son of God. They put him in a the tomb. They rolled the stone over the tomb. Sealed it. Put 500 cars around the tomb to make sure he stayed in there. So Satan is on his throne in hell, just thinking about all the people he's going to destroy, all the people's lives he's going to ruin that won't obey God. All oh, they rejoice and the demons rejoice. Oh, they having a party in hell. Oh, it's on and cracking. They just rejoice. Satan done killed Jesus. My granddaughter called me last night. My seven-year-old granddaughter called me last night. Disturbed. She up in Sacramento. Disturbed, heartbroken. She said, Granddad, I was at school the other day. We were in line to go eat. And these boys was talking about 
how they hate Jesus, how they hate God, and they love Satan, and they can't wait till Satan kills Jesus. She was so upset. This happened last night. This was not the message I was going to preach. After I talked to her, I had to go and do some more. I got this message about 12 o'clock last night. I said, baby, you don't have to worry about that. My granddaughter, Felicia, seven years old, third grade. I said, baby, you don't have to worry about that. Then I explained to her what happened. This is what happened. He said, how many, is this the third day yet on the street? Go get my boy. Go get my boy. Third day, third, three days up. Go get my boy. Go get my boy. Go get my boy. So he got work. Go get my boy. 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 Go get back, come to the front. Go get my boy. Go get my boy. Uh-huh. Go get my boy. Because see, while he was in that grave, he wasn't in that grave. He was going, he had a journey to go to. He had to go to the lower parts of the earth. He had to go down to the abyss of the earth. Because he had work to do. He had to go to the abyss. He had work to do. He had work to do. He said, get off that throne. Give me my crown back. Give me the peace of the kingdom. He had work to do. No man take my life. I lay it down. And in three days, I'll pick it back up. And now Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father. He's destroyed the works of the devil. He's destroyed death. He's destroyed the grave. He's destroyed the gates of hell. Jesus said upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I told my granddaughter, I said, baby, you ain't got to worry about that. 2,000 years ago, darling, Jesus went to hell and whooped Satan's behind back. <laughs> Satan don't want no parts of Jesus, and he sure enough don't want no parts of you. Come on, let's give God a hand for you. He sure enough. He don't want no parts of you. He don't want no parts of me. That's why he tries everything he can to stop you. That's why he tries everything he can to depress you. Because he's scared of hell as you. He's scared of you, baby. He said the big brother came and whipped my behind. Now Jesus said, I did this so I could have many brothers. We are all his brothers. He said, now. I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom. I'm going to give you a crown. He said, I'm going to give it to you. He said, and whatever you don't allow on earth, I'm going to allow it in heaven. Whatever you bind on earth, I will bind it in heaven. If you don't allow sickness, I won't allow it. Because I'm giving you the keys to the king. Satan doesn't have him anymore. He's a liar. He's counterfeit. He has no power over you. You're not a drug addict. You're not an alcoholic. You're a child of the most high God. You're the head and not the tail. You're the above only and not the beneath. God has a blessing for somebody in here this morning. God has a blessing for somebody in this here this morning. 
God has a blessing. Who wants the keys to the kingdom? Who wants the keys? Come on, let's give him praise. Who wants the keys to the kingdom? When you got keys, you can unlock any door. You can unlock the door to your business. You can unlock the door to your deliverance. You can unlock the door to your children being saved. Your grandchildren being saved. Have you got the keys to the kingdom? Unlock your husband. Unlock your wife. Unlock your children. He's giving you the key. He's giving you the keys to the kingdom. He's giving you the keys. Whatever you don't allow, God said, I don't allow. I'm not going to allow. Because you are my representative. Jesus sat on the throne. He said, it's finished. Now I'm waiting for you to do greater works than I did. I'm giving you the keys. I want you to do greater works. I want you to do greater works. But you have to realize who you are. You're not a low down dirty worm. You're not a wretch. Jesus reversed all that. Thank you, Lord. You are a child yes. of the Most High God. Yes. You're a royal priesthood, yes. a chosen generation, yes. a peculiar people. Yes. That's who Jesus made you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. Who wants the keys to the kingdom? I got to pray for all y'all. Who wants the keys to the kingdom? Who wants the keys to the kingdom? You give me some all. Come on up here. Form a line if you want the keys to the kingdom. Give me some all up in here if you want the keys to the kingdom. Form a line right here. Give me open that all. Stand on to my left side. If you want the keys to the kingdom, the keys don't let Satan trick you. Come on, come on, come on. The keys to the kingdom is yours. The keys to the kingdom. You live in the kingdom of God. No more depression. No more sadness. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord comes from within. It's not about outside circumstances. The joy of the Lord is your strength.